Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I am here with a really beautiful and surprisingly quick pattern release for you. Um, before we get into this though, new spot. You guys noticing my new spot? <laughs> Um, okay, so um, we've done some rearranging here in Tomcat Century Headquarters, and um, I'm back in the sewing room, but my fabric is not. My fabric got moved to the other room. Um, I have a whole video on the new digs and an introduction to all my machines um, on the channel on Friday. Um, so definitely check back in if you're interested in seeing what my new sewing space looks like. Um, Jenny and I were very busy just kind of doing some reorganizing, and I think it's going to work a lot better. Also, really quickly, Distashify. My Distashify shop is still open right now. I'm selling some fabric, and right now everything is 20% off. I will be closing the shop on uh, February 1st um, because my very helpful intern, um, it, school is getting too much. So, <laughs> And she's the one that ships all those orders out and stuff. So 20, everything in the shop is 20% off starting today, and then we'll just be closing it on February 1st um, until I'm ready to open it back up again probably in the summer or something sometime. So just wanted to put that little um, nugget in your ear if you were eyeing anything that was over there. Okay, pattern release. This is the new Itch to Stitch Majorelle uh, dress and top. Guys, it is so good. I'm going to talk a little bit about the pattern and the um, specs, the details that are on it, and then I'll walk you through the dress version that I have made. So um, again, this is the dress and a top, and basically the dress is just a lengthened version of the top. Um, it features a um, just a collar stand at the top, which has an optional ruffle that can be sewn to the top. I really wanted to make that version. I just have a very short neck, and I was afraid the ruffle is, was going to be like up to here on me. Um, although now that I've made it, I think I could probably get away maybe with the ruffle. I might try it. I don't know. I have a very short neck and that is, I just don't have a lot of real estate there um, to do like a popped collar or any of that stuff. So anyway, it's an adorable um, option and I would totally be doing it if I had a little bit longer neck. <laughs> um, it has a raglan style um, sleeve and it has a dart. The sleeve has a dart and the top of it. And then um, the bodice and the back and sleeves are all gathered into this neckband. And it is a button-up shirt front. So, or snap. Um, you, she recommends either snaps or buttons for the front, either for the shirt or for the um, dress. And then the sleeves are just a real kind of a bishop sleeve that finish off with um, elastic in the bottom to, to gather that cuff in. So, um, Kenneth had sent a picture of the inspiration, um, like a ready to wear garment of inspiration that she was wanting to, um, kind of recreate with this pattern. And the minute she sent that out, I was like, oh my God, I've got to pattern test that. Um, it is so good. And again, goes together surprisingly easy. A raglan sleeve is just an easier, um, type of garment to fit and to sew, um, because you don't have to worry about any, like, forward shoulder or sloping shoulder or broad shoulder or whatever raglan style sleeves just fit fine um they just fit really well uh, and again this does have a dart that gives you a little bit of shaping there at the top of the shoulder but it shouldn't be an issue if even if you do have normally have issues with fitting your shoulders um and i just knew that i wanted to make it up not only just the ease, but I just thought it was so cute and I can't wait to make the top. Um, I wanted to make the dress because I really wanted to use this fabric and I knew I had enough uh, fabric to make the dress, but um, I really want to make this as a top. The inspiration picture was a denim, like a shirtweight denim. It's so cute. Absolutely so cute. Um, so I, I may need, I have some uh, tinsel denim shirtweight fabrics in two different colors. I think I got from Minerva um, that I had bought into doing like a, some sort of a shirt for myself and for my daughter. Um, so I may be making this one. I also might use some of my Italian silk and make myself a top out of this. I just think it's very flattering <laughs> and, and just and easy and just very comfortable to sew. Um, very much in love with this pattern. Okay, so the pattern comes in her full size range from a double, does she go double zero to a 40? And, um, and I'll put the bust and hip range here and then also a standard bust or a full bust so she doesn't have her cup sizes on this one but she does have an option for full bust 
There are no bust darts. All the bust shaping comes with the gathers that go into the neckline. Um, and I think it fits really, really well. So um, I, I, you know, and I, I'm one that definitely needs cup sizes or full bust adjustment. So being able to use the full bust piece was absolutely fine for me. Um, I made the size eight with a full bust and I shortened the sleeves by an inch and I shortened the um, pattern just by one inch this time. A lot of times with her dresses, I'll shorten it one inch. She puts two lengthened and shortened lines on um, her dress patterns and I'll shorten it an inch at each. At each. This time though, I just did the one that's at the waist because um, I just wanted to see where it hit me. I wanted it a little bit longer and I think I like the length as is. And if I actually did belt it, I think it would be a really cute, like above the knee length because, you know, you'd want it some blousing. Um, but we'll talk a little bit more about why I didn't belt it here in just a second. Um, but yes, it's just a, I mean, all of It's Just Stitch, Kenneth's patterns are all drafted so beautifully. Um, she just does such a good job with her instructions. And um, I'm just a really big fan of It's Just Stitch patterns. I love testing for her. Uh, and I highly recommend this pattern. <laughs> All right, so my version, I made mine in this absolutely stunning, it's a rayon slash viscose. I would call it a, j a jacquard because there's a little bit of a raised like polka dot in there, um, but it's like the same weight as like a chalet, like it's very lightweight. In fact, it's, it's too cold for me to wear this right now because the fabric's pretty lightweight. Um, but it's this beautiful rust color with um, navy, like animal-ish type stripes. And there's a little bit of like cobalt blue that pops in there. I got this fabric from one of the So Haley Jane boxes. Um, if you guys have not tried the So Haley Jane boxes, they're so much fun. Her fabric is beautiful quality. Um, I have a code, uh, TomCat10 gets you 10% off your first box um, to give that a try. But it, it's number one, it's fun to have something that arrives in the mail. Um, but number two, just, I've just been very impressed with both the patterns and the fabric that she's put in there. Um, the patterns, because it's pattern companies, a lot of times I haven't heard of, and that's a really fun way to try out new pattern companies. Um, and then the fabric is just always really beautiful quality. So, uh, I, I mean, I think this was maybe November's box. I can't remember off the top of my head. It wasn't December. I don't. Think. No, I think it was November's. Um, but I have been chomping at the bit to cut into the thing. The minute I opened the box, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to make that up. <laughs> so I'm very glad that I used it for um, this because I think this is going to get a ton of wear. It just needs to get a little bit warmer for me to be able to wear it. Now the pattern, um, the dress does come with a pattern for a sash, for a, a fabric sash to wear as a belt if you want that waist cinching. I tried it, I mean, I made it clearly and um, tried it on with it, but I am just so rectangular from here down. Um, and I have a high waist and it's a short waist, um, short torso, my waist sits really high, that I feel like a lot of times when it comes to um, fabric belts like that, it cuts me in half at not a flattering spot. Um, I mean, my waist is my narrowest spot technically, but not by a ton. Um, so I often find that I like wasteless things. I will wear wasted things on occasion. Um, uh, my daughter insists upon having wasted things. So she would absolutely have to wear this dress with a back, um, with a belt. But when I tried it on without the belt, I actually think I prefer that look on me. Um, and I think it looks really cute with my boots and it's just a really comfortable dress to wear. So I've got the belt if I change my mind, but, um, I think for the most part, I'm going to wear it without, without the belt. Um, and I, I think I really enjoy that. I think that's going to be something that I probably choose to do more times than not. Not saying I'll never wear it, but, you know, for the most part. Um, what else? I used vintage black. I used black buttons for my sash. I just couldn't find a good button that I liked. <laughs> um, I thought the black looked fine. Um, navy would have probably been a little bit better, but I think that this works really well. Um, what else can I say about it? It's just a, I mean, it went together really quickly, especially for a shirt dress. So if you're looking for a good win, um, quick win, I highly recommend this pattern. Um, and again, I've even left the pattern out sitting on a chair over there because um, I, I really want to make a shirt next. So as soon as I have a minute in my sewing um, schedule to pop a shirt in there, I'm going to be, uh, yeah. In fact, you'll probably see this on my spring capsule wardrobe plans, which I'll be doing in February. So stay tuned for that. But um, anyway. There you have it. The newest It's Just Stitch pattern. It is the Majorelle dress and top. 
Again, it has that optional ruffle that's at the top. Um, oh, also the inspiration picture, uh, the sleeve was a little different. It was a fuller sleeve, but instead of having elastic at the bottom, it had a sheared cuff. Um, so they had just done like, you know, I don't know, 10 lines of shearing at the um, cuff of the shirt. And then, so it had like a little ruffle there at the bottom. She opted not to do that for this pattern, but that would be such an easy thing to do if you wanted to do and really recreate the um, original kind of her inspiration uh, behind the pattern. And I think that would be a really cute thing, especially at, you know, something different in the spring. Um, I think maybe for one of my shirts, I might try that and do, um, instead of finishing off, the elastic at the bottom. I'll just hem it up, do, I don't know, 10 or so lines of shirring um, to create kind of a thicker cuff there, and then um, just do that for the sleeve. I think that could be a lot of fun. And it will require zero alterations to the pattern, just putting in shirring instead of doing the elastic. So anyway, just a thought and an idea. <laughs> All right, guys, so there you have it, the newest Itch to Stitch pattern. I hope you have enjoyed this one. Um, I'll be back Friday, like I said, for my uh, tour of my sewing room. And then uh, back again next week. I hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday. I hope you're staying warm and I hope you get some sewing in and I'll see you again on Friday.